Welcome back everyone. Time to do another comparison between the newly released Samsung Galaxy S10 Pillow Joking, newly released iPhone 12 against the older phone, the Galaxy S10. Now the S10 has been out for over a year now, but if you looked at it, you wouldn't think it's that old. Like this phone, still an extremely good, beautiful phone for the most part. The iPhone 12 just came out, $829. The Galaxy S10, you can pick up for like 500 in a lot of places, even less than 500 if I'm being honest. If you want to find the cheapest ones, I'll find them on Amazon. I'll link them down in the description below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now, side by side, you can kind of see that the Galaxy S10 is a little bit longer. At first, I was like, maybe not, but I think it's actually a little bit longer than the iPhone 12. However, I think the iPhone 12 may be a little wider, but even then, that doesn't seem the case. They both kind of feel almost exactly the same and maybe exactly the same you know, weight as well. Now, on the front of the Samsung Galaxy S10, we have a 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display and you know I'll be completely honest this was a beautiful display last year and it's still a completely beautiful display as well. I mean there's really nothing that I hate about this panel. It's extremely beautiful. It was probably the best panel last year. It's still a really good looking screen and it's kind of unfortunate because a lot of the competition still can't even keep up with panels that Samsung has made last year or even the year before that if I'm being completely honest. You have the whole punch display, very little bells on the top and bottom but compared to the iPhone 12 it's a little bit but nothing too crazy. Now on the iPhone 12, on the other hand, we have a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel and it's a little bit, I think, I don't know if it's bigger, it's like the same screen size as the Galaxy S10 so I don't think there's a big difference, but you do get a notch on it and I think this is one of the best, you know, examples of an aging device that is new but it looks aged and I just wish they didn't put a notch on it. You know, when you have a phone like the Galaxy S10, Samsung was able to do a really good job last year by keeping that whole punch display. The iPhone 12, I don't know what Apple was thinking with this case, but it's not a bad panel. I think it looks good for the most part. They added the flat sides too, which I totally keep forgetting to talk about because it's like, I don't know, I'm kind of used to it by now. But I think for sure when it comes down to it, the Galaxy S10, unfortunately to some people, may have the better panel. And I say unfortunately because the Apple, you know, iPhone 12 is going to get a lot of hype. It's probably one of the more popular phones right now. The Galaxy S10 may actually have the better panel <laughs> in terms of the thickness between them. The Galaxy S10 I think also is a little bit thinner as you guys can see. It's pretty, I don't know if it's pretty close. The Galaxy S10 feels thinner because of the curved sides so that's a huge advantage for the Galaxy S10 and it just feels way more premium in my opinion. And on the back you can see triple camera setup on the Galaxy S10, a dual camera setup on the iPhone 12, glass backs on both, wireless charging as well, but the Galaxy S10 does have reverse wireless charging which is really awesome. Now a couple other minor things, the Galaxy S10 and the iPhone 12 both have IP certification which is really great. You are getting micro SD card slot support on the Galaxy S10 which is really cool. The iPhone 12 doesn't have that capability, it may be a big deal to you, it may not be, but that is also something to consider. But really in terms of the outside that really pretty much covers that for the most part, there's really not much more to hit on. I think I think the Galaxy S10 may be the better built one when it comes down to the whole build quality as well as the front panel for sure. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now software wise, obviously we have Android on the Galaxy iOS here. If you like Android, go here. If you like iOS, go here. But I think, you know, for longevity wise, the iPhone 12 is going to win. And I just like iOS updates more. But there are some times where I have, you know, have experienced that updating my phones have caused problems. And I've never really had problems updating any of my Galaxy phones. And the process to update is super easy. I always have to wait for like process processing updates and all this stuff on the iPhone 12 and just all iPhones in general. The Galaxies don't have that. You just download the update and you just install, which I really like. But I still like the software lifecycle on the iPhones for sure more than the Galaxies. So obviously the Galaxy is going to last for I think two more versions of Android or three more. It just got an extra year. So I think that's a huge highlight for this phone. But still the iPhone 12 is going to outlast the Galaxy S10 when it comes down to the software updates. So in terms of software that covers it up, now let's go into a speed test between them. The iPhone 12 has that Apple A14 Bionic chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes bytes of RAM with a Samsung Galaxy S10. Has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one is the faster one between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, let me go and clear all the apps in the background and the iPhone 12 is good and the Galaxy S10 is now good. So let's open up phone calls, 3, 2, 1. And about the same on both, not the big difference. Uh, gesture wise, they looked about the same there too. Let's do the app stores, 3, 2, 1. And the Galaxy S10 seem to be a little bit faster there. The iPhone 12 a little bit behind. Scrolling wise though, you can see the iPhone 12 I think is much smoother than the Galaxy S10. This phone, I don't know what's going on with it, why is it so choppy, but definitely when it comes down to the scrolling speeds, the iPhone 12 is a little bit faster there. Now as always, I have a bunch of these third-party apps that we can go and open. Let's do Temple Run 2, which I don't even think I have. Let's skip it. Let's do Bofa, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 12 faster. Galaxy S10 a little bit behind, not a big difference. Dropbox, 3, 2, 1. 
and iPhone 12 faster, Galaxy S10 a little bit behind there too, Quizlet 321, and the Galaxy S10 was actually faster there, the iPhone 12 shortly behind it, and I would do Netflix, but it doesn't seem like we have it here, which is totally okay, Sue so Snake versus Blocks 321. And again, I think, I don't know which one was faster. They both were like almost hand in hand. Gameplay wise, I don't think there's going to be that big of a difference between them. They both look pretty close. So in terms of gameplay, they're pretty much honestly about the same. Let's do Tank You, which I don't even think I have here yet. Oh, I do 3, 2, 1. And you can see Galaxy S10 is faster. iPhone 12 a little bit behind, as you can see. And they look about the same in terms of gameplay, but that pretty much covers that one up. I would do stack, but again, I guess I don't have it. I don't know what happened to all these apps. Fruit Ninja 321. And you can see Galaxy S10, I think, is going to be way behind the iPhone 12. But they kind of open up. See, now there's a little bit of a difference here because this game is a little bit different here. So I don't really know what to do about that one. So we'll just kind of just kind of awkwardly move out. So Instagram 321. I think I'm logged in on here, though. No, I guess I'm not. Okay, that one was pretty weird. Twitter 321. And iPhone 12 was faster there. Let's do Paper IO2, 321. Different versions, but the exact same game, so it's probably still going to be accurate. And the Galaxy S10 was faster there. This one looked like it was going to out open first. That ended up not being quite the case. And in terms of the gameplay, again, they look kind of the same. I was expecting bigger differences in this game, because this is a pretty like tough game to open on some games, on some phones, but that one pretty much covers that one up. Let's do Facebook, 321. And the iPhone 12, definitely faster there. Snapchat, 321. And I was logged in here, so maybe that causes some difference. Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. And I think animation-wise, definitely, like I said before, the iPhone 12 may actually be the winner here in terms of animation speeds, but I don't think for the speed's sake, that one is way faster than the other one. So we do have to, I guess, download it here, which is not a big deal. But I think, honestly, to kind of sum up this comparison, like this was a quick one, I can do a full one if you guys want me to. But I don't know if one of those way faster than the other one each time. I want to say the iPhone 12 is probably the smoother one when it comes down to it. So if I had to like click an app and open it or whatever, it may be the smoother one in this case. But I really don't know. They both were almost neck and neck. Like I wouldn't necessarily go from one phone to the other just based off the performance. I think if you want a smoother device overall, maybe the iPhone 12 is the better way to go in that sense. But even then, like RAM management is about the same. I don't really want to go from one phone to the other just based off speed. So speed comparison wise, they both are actually very fast. I'm more surprised about the Galaxy S10 though, because this one is over a year old. It's probably going to be two years old in like a couple of months. So it's pretty surprising that this phone is still as fast and smooth as it is. But the iPhone 12, I think, is a smoother one when it comes down to it. RAM management is about the same though. So in terms of speed, that pretty much covers it up. Let's go and do a camera comparison between them. Now this is a quick one, I have already filmed a full one, I don't know when I'm going to drop it, but the Galaxy S10 has a triple camera setup, 12 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide telephoto, and then a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor, <laughs> where the iPhone 12 has a 12 megapixel wide, then a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now in terms of the UIs, you can see that they kind of have the same thing going on, there's not really like a ginormous difference between them, but you can kind of see how the colors are kind of on both, and I've been saying this for years now, the Galaxy side, they always kind of brighten up the colors, where the iPhones, they kind of dull out them a little bit, and that's definitely really, really apparent here. Now I've also been saying this for a while, but I usually use the front camera more than I use the back camera, and I think the back camera on this phone is really, really good, and I still think the front camera on the Galaxy S10 is extremely good as well. You can do 4K at 60 on the front camera of the Galaxy S10, which I think is a huge highlight for it. You can do 4K at 60 on the back of the Galaxy S10 too, so that's a pretty big deal. I think the Galaxy S10 has a really good camera set, if I'm being honest. You have that ultra-wide sensor, you have that telephoto lens. The autofocus is a little weird, a little bit, I'll be honest, but once you take the color, but once you take the photo and everything, it looks really good in the Galaxy S10. And you can probably say the same thing about the iPhone 12 as well. I mean, 4K 60 on the front, 4K 60 on the back. And I think this, for a 2020 phone, I think it's good. But for a 2019 phone, which this phone came out early 2019, I'm surprised by how well this camera is still. I think the iPhone 12's camera is good, and I'm actually in love with it, and I like it. But I think the iPhone 12 may actually not have as good of a camera as the Galaxy S10. I mean, this thing has that telephoto lens and, and that's a lot going for it too, but I think the colors and the accuracy and the features that the Galaxy S10 brings is better than the iPhone 12. And I will probably show that in my full video photo comparison whenever that comes, but I think the iPhone 12's camera is great, but the Galaxy S10 may be a little bit better in my opinion. 
Now ending it off with the battery life, the Galaxy S10 has a 3400mAh battery, the iPhone 12 has a 2815mAh battery. And I did already do a battery test between these two, I don't know when that's dropping either, but I pretty much saw that in that case, the Galaxy S10 did have better battery life than my brand new iPhone 12. This phone is a year old, over a year old now and batteries degraded and everything, and I was still getting better battery life from my Galaxy S10 than my iPhone 12. And that was from my test, maybe other people's tests will be different. But once I drop that full video comparison, you guys will have a better idea and that's probably going to drop on my second channel. So to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, should you pick up the iPhone 12, should you keep or get your Galaxy S10? What I can tell you is, is that with the Galaxy S10, it's such a good phone, you know, and for the price that you're paying for about half of what the iPhone 12 is going for brand new, this is a tremendous phone. There are so many assets for this device, and I can't even name anything that's extremely bad about it. You know, I feel like maybe the battery life could be better, but it is better than the iPhone 12, so it's not even that big of a deal. I feel like the biggest advantage that the iPhone 12 has going for it would probably be the software, but the Galaxy S10, you're still getting a beautiful screen, amazing build quality, fingerprint sensor in the display, micro SD card slot, IP certification still, headphone jack, USB type C, like there's the list goes on and on. Like this phone is a killer device and there are are so many assets for it. I think this phone has a better camera than the iPhone 12 as well. But I think with the iPhone 12, you're also getting a very good phone. Even if these were the same price, I would probably still pick up a Galaxy S10 just because of the features, the reverse charging as well. But the iPhone 12, I think, is a very good phone too. If you like iOS, if you have a bias to it already, then maybe picking up the iPhone 12 will be a better choice for you. But on the iPhone 12, you're getting a beautiful display as well. You're getting really good cameras, really good performance. I think a smoother performing phone than the Galaxy S10. You're getting, I think, you know, better IP certification, I guess. I don't know. Battery life is also pretty decent on it, even though it's still better on the Galaxy S10. And I think you're just getting the software experience. You know, that's kind of what you're getting over the iPhone 12. And it's funny because this phone is over a year old. And so it's not quite halfway through its life cycle yet because Samsung, you know, increased the life cycle of it. But I think the iPhone 12 is good for the people who already like iOS, who already like iPhones. But if you already have a Samsung Galaxy S10, I really honestly wouldn't upgrade to it unless you wanted to buy an iPhone. If that wasn't the case, then I would 100% keep the Galaxy S10. I own it. I've owned it for like however long since day one. And I think it's a great phone, and I think it's probably one of the best phones that held up even last year. But I think the iPhone 12, if you have to go brand new, then go for it. But if you have a Galaxy S10, I might say get this phone and save some money, honestly. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels, more importantly, everything also, every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.